The Shibden Mill Inn has been situated in the Shibden Valley for well over 350 years, so it has a long association with the valley. We tend to class ourselves as, as very much a traditional inn. You know, being in the heart of Yorkshire and what have you, you know, there's a lot of great produce out there, and sort of cattle, lamb, fish, you know, from all sort of corners of the county. And we felt we could incorporate that into one menu. Our grill room helped showcase all of those elements um, and it certainly worked very, very well so far. I think Yorkshire is a place where people are very passionate about their, their, their food, certainly, but certainly they do like their steaks and uh, I think we've really hit on our winner in terms of what we're doing. And, you know, the new ovens that we fitted into the kitchen, especially the Cooper oven, is, is something that we feel has been key to that success in terms of the flavour and, 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 you know, the, the way that the meat is produced through those. So when a cheque comes on and we know we've got, say, 20, 30 bucks in a grill room upstairs. I know for a fact I'm going to sell four or five um, cut the beefs, rib of beefs. So I put it in a water bath and hold it at 51, 52 in a water bath. So it's never going to overcook it. You can be in there an hour. It's never going to overcook. The reason why we do that is so it's in the cup at a high temperature so we can get the maximum caramelization of the meat into the cup at very hot temperature. I find weekend work between 350, 350, 400 max. Probably six, seven minutes, it starts caramelising, you get the bar marks, you know, the bones carrying heat through the meat. Say if I'm holding food, say there's it's like ten dishes in the past, and my last dish is a steak, or they call it the birth, and that's what I'll do, I'll then take the, the steaks and put it on the door, because obviously it's carrying so much heat, it's hot, and it carries on caramelising the meat, it gives it a good colour. I'll only, probably only do that for a minute to a minute and a half, just to get the extra heat for it before serving, and take it onto the board to slice it, then serve it. Now with the culpa, it's so quick, you know, you, you, you're cooking the meat actually after the starters have come back, so you're saving yourself that 50 minute work, organising yourself, getting a check ready, you know, as soon as that check's called away. You're not cooking the pigeon to the rest of the garnishes on the plate. As soon as that plate's ready, you cut the pigeon, slice it, and it's gone. I think even though people like to love to barbecue, everybody loves to barbecue and what have you, I think the oven itself offers more than that. You know, you, you regularly hear that it's the best steak I've ever, I've ever eaten, um, you know, and, and it's the best fish or it's the best grilled lobster, it's, you know, and all of those things sort of link together and uh, that's made us think that, yeah, perhaps we have hit on something that's, that's good.